Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Hi yeah, everyone, welcome to uh, the next LP that I'm doing. Uh, this is Star Trek Elite Force 2. I... I don't know why they couldn't get the actual Star Trek music and they are using some sort of like weird stock music. I don't even know. That's the most disappointing part of this so far. Alright, I've done uh, Star Trek Elite Force 1 and it was a really great game. Uh, this one is not as good. Uh, but still fun, so we'll do it. Uh, and I figured this is the last one they ever made for this, so... I guess this one flopped, kind of, and I, I can kind of see why. Mostly that the multiplayer wasn't as good. Uh, I think that's one of the main things, uh, that people didn't like about this one. The multiplayer was great in the first one. Alright, so welcome to the game. Uh, and so I guess, uh, without further ado, we'll get started, and we're gonna be playing on very hard today. Do I wish to engage in training? Uh, the answer is yes, and you will see why. Blah blah blah, two bucks gonna teach me how to play the game. Some obstacles are too high for a standard jump. To clear obstacles such as these, you will need to execute a crouch jump. This is done by pressing and holding the jump key, and then pressing the crouch key while in the air for more vertical momentum. This will allow you to clear taller objects. Utilize both the standard and crouch jump to navigate these obstacles, and advance to the next exercise. Yeah, crouch jumping. I know how to Excellent do that. work. At the end of the corridor, you will see a maintenance door leading to a Jeffrey's tube. As you approach the maintenance door, execute a crouch walk to enter the tube. Once inside, follow the tube down the ladder to the maintenance door below. We will continue with the second set of examinations when you complete this exercise. So, uh, as you guys um, may be wondering why am I doing the tutorial, well, I found a tricorder, it's kind of a secret. So down there is where you exit the level, but however, if you go over here, and just this random panel which absolutely ha serves no purpose, and I, ho I hold this, I modulate it for no fucking reason whatsoever. This is why we did the secret, like, the, the fucking secrets everywhere in this game, guys. I'm gonna be, uh, at least attempting to get them all. Uh, I'm looking them up, because I, I don't remember where all of them are, but whatever. I guess I have no excuse not to get them. So, we've unlocked a secret door, so let's go back to the tutorial. I know I fast forwarded, it's because you don't really want to fucking see me just jumping over obstacles. I mean, I'll do that right now, look at this. Oh shit, riveting gameplay. Oh man. It's like, I didn't fucking know how to do this to begin with. So. Alright, so that, now we head back here. And so this was locked before, now it's not. And that's what I did by modulating the, uh, the little control panel there. So now we found a secret area. I wonder, I wonder what could be here. Ah, it's a, it's a fun game though. Also, I have a key to basically make uh, my my weapon act like the Wii. So look at that. Isn't that, isn't that sick? Look, it goes around the, the, the screen. See, I can see my wrist. It's awesome. All right, now we go this way. And here we go. And this is basically why we did this entire fucking thing right here. I can't scan it though. Anyways, let's just hop on top of it. I found a secret item. Basically, this game has scattered uh, uh, golden starships everywhere, and what they essentially do is, uh, well, they're, they're for unlocking secrets. And they're all over the place, so this is not a very serious <laughs> Star Trek game. But um, as far as I know, I have to exit the level with it. Um, so it, it does tell me right there uh, how many secrets and starships I find. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, go, we'll get them all. This, that's going to be the theme of this game, to be honest. Oh, I took damage. 
I now need to execute a crouch jump again. Because I have no fucking idea how that works. So we'll just exit the level with this guy, and then we'll actually continue the actual game. Because, uh... Fuck that noise. Excellent, Lieutenant. Your performance was satisfactory. I would say I went above and beyond because I got a golden starship, bitch. Uh, and now we exit this level. That's it. I have now the secrets thing unlocked, and this is all the things you get. So 10, 20, 35. That just gives you an example. But now we're going to actually start the game. No more training. We don't, there's no more after that. On Stardate 483.15.6, the USS Voyager vanished from known space. It was transported 70,000 light years across the galaxy and cut off from Starfleet. To protect the ship from the unexplored Delta Quadrant, Chief of Security Tuvok created an elite strike force, the Hazard Team. After seven years, Captain Janeway found a shortcut home, the Borg Transwarp Hub. Armed with technology from the future, Voyager attacked the Borg Armada and hurtled into an unstable transwarp conduit, heading for the Alpha Quadrant. But the Borg Queen had other plans. A Borg Sphere captured Voyager and imprisoned the ship in a dampening field. Lieutenant Alex Monroe and the Hazard Team would have to sabotage the Borg Sphere. The Hazard Team would free Voyager's crew or watch them be assimilated. The Borg will not attack you until you prove to be a threat. That should give you time to reach Subjunction 37, where you'll find the three dampening field generators. Got it. Let's go. Today, there's too much anti-lepton interference. Just boost the signal. That's dangerous. Commander Tuvok, Hazard Team requests permission to get going. Beam them out. Oh, thank God, Shell's dead. Telsia, Shell. Monroe to Tuvok. Where's the rest of my team? Shell here. What a rough ride. I think I have transporter shock. Status. The interference must have separated us. We're lucky it didn't. Status, Shell. Uh, unharmed, but queasy. Uh, my, my tricorder located you. I'll meet you in... Chell, report! Just my luck, force fields. I I'm trapped! We'll find you. Monroe out. Stay close, Jane. So as you can see, uh, the hazard team is now equipped with the latest version of Google Glass. And, uh... Here's, uh, the Borgs. Welcome to Borg ship. Telsia here. I'm scouting out the generators. Good. Keep me posted. So let's go, let's just tricorder everything. Oh look, uh, it's us and Chang. Oh you, seven hundred. Oh, no, not seven hundred. Seventy nine kilograms of man shell. You're fat man. Dude, look at this guy. He's not fat at all. He's he even has like machine parts and he's he's fifty four kg man. I like how there's no privacy in the future. All right. So here's a power coupling, and it weighs 68, so it weighs almost as much as that Borg. Oh no, no, more than that Borg. Wow. Dude, this guy must be like full of helium or something. Jesus. Alright, well. Destruction will cause a nearby green force field to dissipate. Well, that would be that. And there's also a Borg distribution node, which uh, causes Borg in the surrounding area to disrupt. And there you go. And we can just touch them. Also, there's a uh, bunny hopping in this game. It's it's uh it's basically Quake Engine. 
I can't really do it in these short corridors, but whatever. You get, you guys get the, the the idea. But there's Bork everywhere, and I love Bork. Uh, there. I have a button. Man, such a worthwhile cutscene for us. So we have we start with a phaser. We have a compression rifle, and eye mods. If you don't know what the eye uh, eye mod does. Where are you? He's fucking fine. Don't worry about it. Monroe, over here. He sounds so whiny. Don't fucking shake that fucking weapon at me. Let's see if there's a distribution node somewhere. Uh, plasma conduit. Uh. There's another one. Oh, I'm running. Wow, I have six health right now. Could you use your tricorder on that control panel? Monroe, the drones here just shut down. You must have destroyed a board distribution node. You think? I have fucking six health now, thanks to you. Maybe playing on, uh, on very hard with the best of ideas. No, what, are you, what am I talking about? That's a good idea. The force field's down. Thanks. God, I just want to punch him in the face. So we start this LP off with six health already. Now you're wondering why I went over here. Uh, well, actually, I think it's because I have to... Yeah, I see there's a green distribution thing. Now, one of the things our tricorder can do is uh, I can put on structural integrity view, which makes everything red, and I can also see things like that. Which is kind of kind of an interesting mechanic, and of course now it's hiding starships everywhere. I know where most of them are, though, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. Yeah, let's go down here. So, there we go. We got... Zero secrets and one starships. Fuck yeah. The green force field just went down. Excellent work. Oh god. Fucking Beesman, I miss you already. This dude keep him in check and make him shut his mouth. God. Let's find Telsia. We Alright. And that's it, we're exiting the area, so it does warn you. Voyager. Trapped. I wish I was back there, recalibrating antimatter containment fields. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. They're active. Use iMods. The Borg can't adapt to them. Resistance is futile. Ah! Monroe! Chang! This is how most of our missions go. Our armors, the board must be jamming them. Basically what's going on right now is... Here, I'm, I'm trying to shoot it right now. They stopped working, but we don't need to fucking use them anyways. Monroe to Voyager, the Borg took Chang. Beam him out. His signal is too weak. Find him and eliminate nearby sources of interference. Possibly force fields. Understood. Chell, locate Chang. I've sent his location to your tricorder. He's in a maturation chamber for assimilation. Telsia to Monroe. I found a Borg relay node. Accessing their computer system. Good. The Borg took Chang. We'll find you after he's safe. There's two starships here. Fuck. I actually don't remember where they are. Oh well, half the fun is now going to be in doing this. So, um, if you know anything about Star Trek, the Borg adapt to weapon frequencies. Uh, so I have to be careful how much I shoot now. Energy terminal and- oh, and a health terminal. Now, these Borg are kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, it even heals me all the way. Alright, and I don't really need that at all. Alright, I guess I'll try corner the hell out of this. In structural integrity mode. So th it doesn't seem like there's any kind of uh, mini game related to this. I just now modulate it. Chang is below us, but the only lift control panel is up here. Stay here and operate the lift. I'll get Chang. Oh, it's business as usual. Fucking Monroe saving the day. And this is a very bouncy. Fucking like make this make this better. What? Like, every time we go on an away mission, always, someone always gets assimilated. God, we are the worst team ever. 
Didn't I order you to stay close? Get out! Negative. I'm shutting this force field down. Don't go anywhere. Alright, so structural integrity here. And... Oh, look, we got a starship, even though we're being timed. That was Borg distribution node, so... Monroe, there's a force field up here we'll need to get through. My scans indicate the power source is on your level. You know, this is not the time. I'm trying to save Chang right now. God. That's all he cares about. He cares about getting off the Borg ship. Power coupling. Yeah, there's like shit here. Oh god, don't kill me. Alright, so we're gonna go this way now. We got we got him. Even though the Borg is shut down right now. Monroe to Voyager. Beam Chang out. He was not getting assimilated anymore. Like, come on. Also, I now remember where the uh, the other starship is. So we found the secret, which is basically just to make this really super easy and kill that Borg distribution node. And this, the, the starship is like under here, I think. Is there a flashlight? No. How do I go into flashlight mode? No. Oh, there's a there's a night vision key. There you go. I can make everything a horrible shade of green. There we go. Normal dude mode now. I wonder what this is for. Oh, let's go over here anyway. Oh, this is probably the thing I'm supposed to do. For, for fucking Chell. God, why couldn't it be Chell that got eaten by the Borg? God damn it. We wouldn't have saved him then. That knocked out the force field up here. And with that, we got all the starships. All of them. All of the starships. So we're good now. Okay, Chell. Yes, sir. Ensign Chang is safe. Locate Ensign Murphy and complete your primary objective. FYI, in this game, uh, you're not allowed to let them be assimilated because he's a main character. Not like in the last game. Nice job, Monroe. Let's go find Telsia. Hello, Borg. Is this the way forward? Oh, here. Alright, no, no starships here. We gotta find Telsia, though. As you can see, it's kind of easy right now, Monroe, but... Monroe, I've accessed their computer system. I'm researching those generators. Telsia's ahead. It's always nice to take out these Borg distribution nodes. I, I don't even have to shoot at a single Borg. That's how amazing I am at this game. I'm doing a non-lethal run. Not really, since I'm, I'm actually killing them. So that's, that's, that's pretty lethal. So, yeah, Borg don't see me as a threat. Or whatever. Oh, here she is. Telsia. Can you disable this force field? I don't see a way. I'm retrieving the location of the generators. Oh, good job. That be good. We wish to She's trapped in there. there. Monroe, blast the distribution node. Resistance is Back off. La -da -da. Oh no, Telsia is dying. Oh, that's a power coupling. Oh, I guess I did the same thing anyways. Whatever. I just remember I had to go this way. <laughs> Yay, Telsia's not dead. Thanks, Monroe. I found the dampening field generators. They're up in subjunction 37 near the Borg Central Plexus. Good job. They beamed in right after I decrypted data about new drone technology. That must be some important data. They didn't beam in even when we were shooting up the place. That means they classified us as a threat. This just got messy. We need to get on the lift to subjunction 37. I fed the location to your tricorder. Now, I wonder where that distribution node was. Oh, there it was. That explains a lot. Kind of just ignored everything. Because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> I think they had a, I think they had Chelf around it. There, I got him. That, that was the first time I actually had to kill them, because there's no distribution nodes anymore. What 
Whatever. What? Are you being shot at? For fuck's sake! What are you kids doing? Oh, I'm just gonna watch him kill the Borg. God damn it. It's like natural selection. Right here. You, you, you send retards onto a Borg vessel and this is, you expect this to, mission to go well. We wish to one. Where's the... Oh, yeah, I got the Borg distribution node. Oh, that, that must have been it right there. Was this it? No, there's a power coupling. That was the th thing. I don't know what it was. Whatever, I just shot. I just shot wildly. Cover me. I am so good at killing Borg. Oh man. Just call me the Borgonator. Power coupling, Borg distribution node. There you go. No, I don't need that health anymore. You know, I started this out with 6 HP. I, I, I think I have full ammo too. No, I don't actually. Oh, we need to fix that. And we can we can go look apparently at the the low resolution wiring inside our, our track or sorry, what the fuck is this even? They've adapted. Over there. So now I gotta use the primary fire for this. Which which blows ass, because it's like so much less damage. I don't even know why I'm using this weapon. Cause I can. Oh well, that was easy. I love these awkward silence in the ele in the elevator fucking thing. Are they even all face the same direction. It's just like elevators in real life. I love them. Monroe to Voyager. How's Chang? The doctor expects him to make a full recovery. We're proceeding to the dampening field generator so we can release Voyager. Monroe out. Alright guys, don't get eaten by Borg now, please. Resistance is There's down. another one. Whatever, it's Looks all yours. Like the board want to play. Oh, d don't get all like cheeky now. Monroe, that force field has a control console. Yeah. I, I need to. Yeah, I know. I'm using the tricorder. God damn it! You need to use the tricorder. And now it's modulated. There we go. That node was jamming us. Our iMods work again. So now we can use the, the fancy schmancy iMods that we have. So all is all is right in the world now. Uh, there's no starships here, so. Look out! This is like the special kind of shooting Borg. What are you doing? Get out of the fucking way, tells you. For God's sake. It's like you don't even th think this is a pork ship. Over there. Can I even zoom? I don't even think I have a zoom key. Oh no, I definitely don't, because I, I know later. That that ignore everything I said. Why do we why do we always Oh god, I just got absolutely wrecked. Oh now I'm a Borg. We can even, <laughs> we can even hear Telsey in the background. There's too many of them. All right, we're back in this room. Let's try not to get wrecked again. Also, the, these weapons now reload, which is something that wasn't in the first game. I forgot to mention that. Resistance is futile. Fucking Borg are not supposed to shoot. But that's what they did to make it more challenging. They're just supposed to walk at you slowly and adapt to everything. But I guess we have odd mods, so it became unfair. Let's actually save it, because apparently it, doesn't s it brought me back to the beginning of the level. It's one of those things when they get lazy and... In development, like you don't actually have to make a checkpoint system. All right, so one of the cool things is you see my heads-up display. Well, kind of in the top right, uh, I see a radar. If I bring out my tricorder, it becomes 3D. That's pretty much all there is to that. Oh, wait, let's see what's on the other way. Actually, is the ch fucking Telsia? God damn it! It's like you want to get assimilated. Actually, sometimes I really believe that. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this is another exit. Oh, sure, you know, let's go this way instead. Look, it's non-linear. Strength is futile. The Borg sound really bored. I like how it's a it's a ship full of fucking 
drones and we're just killing them one at a time. They look really awkward when they're standing. I, I, I just want to meet the guy who modeled that and thought it, he did a good job. Oh, here we go. Actually, no. There is a, there is a mini game with respect to. Uh, there's really no reason for me not to shoot them, to be honest. Look, one of the three generators. Shut it down, Chell. Chell's fat too. It's resisting modulation, Monroe. Use your tricorder on the generator's panel. The two of us can trigger a degenerative feedback loop. Tells me it weighs like nothing. Goddamn. Alright, so we gotta do co-op hacking. Like, well, every Star Trek game seems to have this. And we offset it. Yeah. There we go. We did, we did science. Generator deactivated. Find the two remaining generators. Actually, Telsey is pretty badass. She she just tried to slap that that Borg shit right there. Oh, ow! I'm using a secondary fire, which is like a really big uh, I I am mod burst because they won't do it. I can one hit most things when I do that. Find the two remaining generators, but this way. Oh, it's a big reactor core thing. Surprised the Bork haven't beamed in here. It's a nice big place for them to do that. There's another one! Ah! Oh, Chell got hit. Good stuff. Let's just let's just watch my AI team take him out. Good good job. You're here for something at least. Might as well use this. Science. I'm keeping an eye out for those, uh, there's no starships here, by the way. Keeping an eye out for, uh, I'm, uh, board distribution nodes. Oh, here we go. Look at that. See? We can do some science there. Anyway, let's do that. Let's do the weapon thing again. We... I don't know why this exists. But it looks cool as fuck. As I said, it's like it was meant to work with the Wii. You can have that on by default, you don't have to- I just have it so I press down a key and I do that. As I said, it's, utter, it's utterly useless. A second generator! Do your shit. Cover us, Telsia. I fucking... Dude, she's so good at that because... She just gets slapped the Borg whenever they come by. Good job. Two generators down. The Borg have come out of their regeneration cycle. They're adapting to our new shield technology. We don't have much time. All right, might as well get more ammo. That, that ammo text is really small. Just know it's a it's a little bar, okay? That's what happens when you play games in 1080p that don't that don't actually support it really. Weird shit happens. Look out! Oh. Oh, ow. Dude, she's always doing hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Borg all the fucking time. I love her. She's amazing. Alright, so the last one is this one, I think. Oh, that's we're exiting this area again. There's another one! I think you're just getting the last one here. Oh, uh, by the way, this is leaning. But I can't shoot, apparently, when I'm leaning. Oh, no, that's, that's a health terminal. <laughs> Do you hear him scream? Oh. Uh, the thing is, I just imagine that as, uh, Beesman is, like, giving him a wedgie. That's all. Watch out! Incoming drones! I like how she just kind of stands to the side, doesn't give a fuck. Are 
I, I don't know, I randomly miss all the time. Uh, you know, I, I think I see what the problem is. It's going slightly to the side, even though the reticle is red. Oh, there's a board distribution Another node. Distribution node vaporized. All right, well, that's uh, this is pretty much the last one then. The third generator. Come on, do your shit, shell. He's so slow. All right. Oh, that's a one and an offset. There you go. Monroe to Voyager. How's that dampening field? It has dissipated. Voyager is ready to depart. Three to beam out. 